Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I want to show you how to make your um, do-it-yourself light box. And I have some scraps left over from my other ones. And my light box got ruined because of my dogs. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a small one. This one, I forgot I had. But I made this one and it was too big. Basically, I had this, um, that taped together. But basically, that is how, um, we're going to do it. I don't, I don't know where my, um, white duct tape is, so I'm just going to use, um, just regular scotch tape. So, you can make these as big as you want, or as small as you want, or for anything of that matter. So... What you're going to need is um, some styrofoam, which I got, um, I got these from Walmart and they're like a dollar or something and it's the foam board so it is, it's pretty thick. And then you'll need some white tissue paper and some tape. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some regular scotch tape and to make things easier you would want a exacto knife. So since I got these I believe are the centers of um, my smaller one. Basically, you're going to cut out a square in each piece. And I'm just going to go ahead and recycle these ones. I think it would be just big enough to put my hand in. Plus, it won't take up much space. And I used this as my cutting board last time, which I'm just going to go ahead and um, use it. So, basically, you want three pieces. I'm doing this only because I don't oops because I don't want to cut my desk. Whoa. Okay, I guess I should have used probably this end. Okay, so now I have three pieces. And obviously they're not all the same size, which that's okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut um, probably about an inch and a half um, inwards. So, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and measure that.
Okay, so once you have it measured, you want to go ahead and just cut it out. Okay, so once you have each piece cut, as you can see, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I mean, I would have liked it to be perfect, but it's just something temporarily. So basically what you're going to do with tissue paper. Is you're going to take one sheet. And cut just enough so it covers um, a little over the edge of the inside square so you have room to tape it. Okay, now that you have each piece cut, you're just going to go ahead and tape them on. Um, it doesn't matter which side, um, whatever side you want to use. And for this, you want to try to make sure it's a little bit tight. Just so it doesn't mess with the picture, which I don't know if it would or not. Okay, now that you got all three pieces done, we're just going to go ahead and um, tape them together like this. And you can put whatever, whatever side you want out. You could put this on the inside so it looks nicer um, that way. It just depends on how you want to do it. So basically, I'm going to um, put these on the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them, um, put the insides together like this. And then I'm going to tape this side.
Okay, so this is what we have so far. And um, to keep it more like stable, you want to um, cut a piece so it fits back in here so it keeps it um, standing. So now what you're going to do is you're going to just tape this um, on the corners. And you can, um, some people use like black backdrops, which you hopefully it's going to go in here like this. And I like to tape it to the top, which I'm going to cut just a little bit because um, it's not the right size. And if you're making a bigger one, you can use, um, this is the foam board, you can use the poster board if you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick it in there like that. And then basically what you do is you take, um, this is how I do it. I have two desk lamps. And I got these from Walmart. And then to take a nail photo, you just put um, your hand in there like this. And take a photo. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I plan to do a video on how I take my nail photos. So if you thought this video was helpful, um, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.